I'm testing the three most extreme survival simulations that I've ever experienced. And the most disturbing one is at the end. <laughs> so right now I am in the middle of a huge forest and I need to fend for myself as a caveman would. And that means three things. I need to find food, I need to find water, and I need to create shelter. What I'm already realizing is that this forest is super cold. Usually I would have the option to rub two sticks together to make a fire, but I don't know if you can tell, it just poured rain here. It is, everything is soaked. So fire off the table, which means I think first things first, let's figure out shelter, a good place to sleep, a safe place to sleep. Great, already broken. Okay, so right behind me, uh, a little ways back, I found a really good clearing where I could put a bunch of trees, branches, twigs, whatever, make some sort of shelter. But first things first, gotta start grabbing big branches and logs, kind of like this guy right here, hefting them off and start building. All right, you guys probably thought I was gonna build some sort of ugly hut, but look at this. Huh? I don't even know if you can tell it. See? There's a ton of sticks and branches that I used to make a foundation. I hauled over some leaves, which will hopefully act as a roof if it rains again. I think that I kind of surprised myself. Caveman, more like stick hut, man. <laughs> that was so awful, I'm sorry. Oh man, this is grosser than I thought it would be. Oh, this is way less nice than I was hoping. I'm kind of worried that I'm just rubbing my like butt cheeks directly on poison ivy. Is that poison ivy? I'm actually feeling a lot better now that I have a roof over my head. Uh, shelter, check that off the list. But what comes up next is water and food and those are giant priorities to survive out here. Yo, no way. Yo, no way. He just walked right on in. Dude, a turtle just walked in here. He went back in his shell. He's in there. So our little tortoise friend is a part of this now. Uh, I'm just gonna wait here until he comes back out because at some point he'll leave, but I'm sure he can hear me talking. So now I gotta be really quiet. Gregory doesn't wanna come out of his shell right now. And I think it's because he knows that I'm sitting behind him watching him, which would freak me out if I were him too. So we're gonna leave or pretend to leave. And then maybe Gregory will come out of his shell. In the meantime, while I give Gregory a little bit of time to chill and hang out, I'm gonna go start looking for food and start foraging because I'm getting hungry. I'm not sure exactly how long I've been out here for, but I feel like it has to be at least two hours, three hours. So I'm starting to get Man, Gregory's definitely not coming out after he smells that. <laughs> I wanna start foraging for food and water because at the six hour mark, something big is going to happen. I can't tell you what quite yet, but before then I wanna forage. I wanna get food, I wanna get water, I wanna be prepared. Is, is this edible? I'm really starting to feel like this orange stuff is edible. I mean, mushrooms, mushrooms are edible, right? That looks edible. Uh, oh. Okay, here we go. Down the hatch. Oh man, I'm kind of nervous for this. Oof, stinky. All right. Okay, come on. Here we go. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna be honest, I am not feeling great after eating that mushroom. Yo, 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 are you, are you, are you, are you guys, are you guys seeing that? Just kidding. I didn't actually eat it because uh, this thing is a fly aggregate mushroom. So if you see one of them out in nature, make sure you don't eat it because it's not safe for you. Oh no. Oh no, 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 that wasn't ready. I didn't get food or water. Okay. Uh, okay, I thought I had a lot more time, but that horn means that we're at the six hour mark. I must have, I must not have realized how long I was building and foraging for. So I thought this video wouldn't be fun if it was just me dressed as a caveman hanging out in the woods. So I hired my friend Jack to be a caveman's only natural predator. A dinosaur with a paintball gun. That horn means that I have 18 hours to hunt Ryan down with this paintball blaster. Let's go. I'm gonna hide out here for a little bit, but then I'm going to need to get moving, find a way to defend myself and a way to sustain myself for the next 18 hours. He's on the hunt. I think she's starting to pick up sin. It's probably been like an hour since that horn sounded. I think I'm about a quarter mile away from the base I made, but I hear 
something in the woods over in that direction right now. So I'm gonna go check it out. We're getting close to something. She's clearly picking up a strong, strong scent. So really hoping Ryan's right around the corner. Oh my God, there they are. Well, it looks like we found Ryan's hut. She smells something inside. Ryan, are you in here? What is it, girl? What is it? Is it Ryan? See something? Oh, a turtle. Did you make a friend? What? Hey, hey, hey! She ate it. All right, I really gotta find a good spot to hide. This is way too close. Well, at least we destroyed his home base. Now we just gotta catch his scent and find his trail. Smell something, girl? Oh, what's this? Ryan's clearly been here, so we must not be too far off. Classic caveman weaponry. Guys, I swear, literally no way. I was coming towards this clearing. I found Gregory. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> How is that possible? All right, we're gonna put him back near some water. I'm ashamed to say that I can't tell if this is Gregory or if this is like one of his cousins. <laughs> this guy's definitely a water turtle. So I'm gonna put him near the water over here. I'm starting to think we're a little bit lost. I can't find the trail anywhere. Time is running out. Still have no sign of Ryan. Here, bud. He's right at the edge of the water, right there. If he decides he wants to go and he can, if not, he's right near where he started. Despite the dinosaur, Ryan does have a few advantages. First of all, he's got caveman legs, which are notoriously more nimble than T-Rex legs. Another advantage is that he's packing light. Y'all seen what he's been wearing? All right, I found a super deep forest clearing right here. I am really far into the middle of the woods. So far that I definitely lost where I am. Should be nearly impossible for him to find me out here anytime soon. I'm gonna keep moving. I'm gonna see if I can find some sort of natural, uh, natural formation that I can use as a hiding spot. People and dinosaurs have evolved over thousands of years that the, the slightest movement catches your eyes and your brain focuses on it. As long as I'm not moving, he shouldn't be able to see me from a distance. It's just up there, a little ways ahead. We're going into stealth mode to see if we can pull up behind him and surprise him. I'm getting exhausted and I'm way too deep into this forest right now. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna hold out here for 20, 30 minutes. Jack knows what he's doing. He knows how to follow people. He knows how to find them. So I'm gonna wait. And at some point, I'm gonna take a wide arc and try to circle around him back to where I started, back into my home base, because he would never search there. He would never think that I'd be there after he destroyed it. Oh, Bessie. Okay, this is really, really bad. I can hear them over there. I think I got one step on this one. Try to pull up behind them. Okay. Guys, I'm screwed with them right there. They snuck up on me. They're right there. Gotta be faster than Jack. It looks like we lost him. Okay, sorry, I'm catching my breath. They came from that way. I probably ran half a mile. I should have kept moving. I shouldn't have stopped. And then they stuck up on me, I didn't even see them coming. Can't be too far. Clearly stealth did not work. Next time we see him, charging him as fast as we can. Over him, give her dino power. You win, you win. Let's just do this outside so I can take it like a man. I give up, I give up, I give up. That was good hunting. That was good hunting. Since I know everybody's been waiting for this moment. Okay. Is it going? Is it out of? It's out of CO2. Yes! Uh, I still count it, I got hit. He's gonna go skydiving. You'll probably see that in the beginning of one of the next videos, so make sure you check it out. I love you and pour one out for Gregory. In the arms of... 
today, I can only eat what I catch with my bare hands. Okay, it's 4 a.m. Challenge starts right now. But there's nowhere around me that I can find anything to eat, so I have a plane to catch. All right, this is a real problem. I'm so late that I might not even make my flight. I literally could not have been more last minute. That was insane. Officially 9 a.m. and I haven't eaten since about 10.30 last night. That's 100 degrees here. Ah! I didn't know what to look for you driving. Bro, in here, in here, 9.45 in the morning. We are trying to survive for 24 hours. Bailey was nice enough to pick me up from the airport and we are yeah. on the way to the ocean because we're gonna catch everything we're gonna eat today. So we're gonna go out, we're gonna try to catch fish, crabs, lobster, whatever we can get our hands on because that's the only thing I'm allowed to eat. <laughs> Well, Ryan, you, you, you can't catch lobster. It's not season, bro. Okay, well, I gotta catch something because I'm not allowed to eat anything else for the next 24 hours. This thing is sick, man. So this is your boat, right? Huh? boat for about what 45 minutes to an hour yeah it took about 45 right. minutes and we're still that close to the beach but we had to come all the way down the coast to find the perfect diving spot where there will be tons of fish bailey's gonna go in right now you, now yeah let's get it i don't know how to swim so i've wanted to do a challenge like this for a long time where i can't go to the store i can't go to a restaurant i can't make myself food. i have to find it and forage it the only thing i can think of is fish are there crabs in this? Yeah. Yo, am I gonna get pinched? No, yeah, you should be good. I don't believe you. As long as you don't go close to him, you'll be fine. But how are we gonna catch him if we don't go close to him? That's a good question. Okay. That's a really good question. That's why you're here, right? Bro, I'm nervous. Right, let me get some sunscreen on. So I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little bit worried to do this because, yeah, it's supposed to be safe, but I have no idea what's in the water below us. It's supposed to have a ton of sea life down there. It's an entire reef that could mean fish, that could mean sharks, that could mean eels, crabs, anything. Things that like me, things that want to bite me. How many feet down is it? 14. 14 feet down? 14 feet has a lot of active creatures. Great. All right, Bailey's getting footage underwater. Okay, adios. I'm terrified of the ocean. The ocean's my biggest fear. Yeah, bro. All right, here we go. This guy in the water just got out. It's beautiful down there. Don't get me wrong. I am already exhausted. I have like no energy. I'm hoping that maybe we can use the rods to reel something and catch it, eat it. I can get some, you know, nutrients back in my body. Man, that was so much harder than I expected it to be. The guys are down there hunting by hand, but I gotta get in there and catch something too. All right, so we were diving for maybe 45 minutes. We caught nothing. It's too hard to do it by hand, so we're gonna sail further out, pass the rods down, hopefully catch something via line. Just gotta eat. All right, what are you looking at? All right, so John Michael, this guy right here, he spent his whole life on these waters. He knows what to eat, how to get it, where to find it, because uh, I don't really get out much. So all those little marks that are right above the bottom, those are fish. Those are fish. So we going for it? We're going for it. Okay. All right, you might actually have a chance to eat. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I would love to eat. I'm crashing right now. It's like 12:45. I'm eating nothing. I'm gonna rinse my gun. Oh! Why is this deep water shark? It's not shark. It's not putting bait on the line. Our captain can help guide me, but remember the number one rule. I have to catch what I eat. Nothing anyone else catches can touch these lips. Oh. Ryan, he's, he's almost got you food. No, I can't eat what he catches. Oh. After hours, finally, oh, there was hope. Oh. John Michael pulled a fish out of the water. It encouraged me to give it a shot. And sure enough, this is it.
about this, but I'm also starving. Dude, you did it. Here, bring it into the chest. Bring it up front. Here, I was gonna say, yep, there you go. They're the same family, but this one, oh, give me the gas, give me the gas. Give me the gas, give me the gas. I don't know, right now. Wait, you can't go, wait. Come on! We're out here for a few hours without anything, but now maybe we're getting four within like five minutes. We're back on the dock. Here are the spoils from this morning. It's early afternoon now. Three lovely little fish. We're gonna take these home, we're gonna prepare them, and then we're gonna cook them and eat them. Tis the circle of life. Okay. Throw some butter in it. Our chef and our captain was nice enough to also cook for us, and I'm starving. Should I go first? You wanna go first? I, I think you should. Hey Ryan, you've been waiting eight hours okay. now. So what's this called again? Flat fish. So this is called file. File fish. Shit. Like filing your nails, like file fish. You smell amazing, dude. So, there we go. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Is it good? There you go. Mm. Oh! Yeah, that was good. Literally. Let me take a nap after this. <laughs> no, don't do that. And although that buttery, tender, delicately sautéed little fish offered some temporary relief, I'd soon be overwhelmed by fatigue again. Luckily, Bailey promised a secret spot. Abundant and tasty little morsels and helpless crabs ripe for easy pickings. Surviving on what you catch for a day. Not the best idea I've ever had and it's been pretty challenging so far. I have to get on a flight back home in three and a half hours. So we gotta catch at least one more thing or else I'm going home hungry and I'll have to find a way to scavenge back at home in North Carolina. All right, right. Whoa, jeez. He just jumped in the water! You can actually eat iguana. I just stepped in iguana poop a second ago. So I actually came here before and I tried to catch a fish with a fork like a month ago. Yo, yo, yo. I... Play, play a clip of him trying to catch it with a fork right now. So I didn't have much luck. So today we're going to try it with our hands while Ryan is. And this is the spot that I did it at. It's way more shallow than last time. Yeah, lots of variety, good options. You can even find crabs right here, Ryan. No. Just looking under these rocks. Yeah, definitely. I get pinched by a crab. See, I don't see anything. If I get pinched, I'm gonna be so mad. Oh, oh. I don't know if I want to eat anything that comes out of here. It smells like butt. And all hope was lost, and we're back to square one. I'm getting angry again. Guys, Bailey's really starting to look like a big chicken tender. Look at this. Do you see what I'm seeing? So we caught nothing for the entire rest of the day, and problem is, I gotta catch a flight right now. So Bailey has to drive me an hour to the airport, then I gotta take a two hour flight, then I gotta get home and find some way to eat something before the sun goes down. So, uh, I'm, I feel like I'm getting hangry right now, okay? I have to eat an hour, relax, sorry. All right guys, after another four hours of travel, I am finally back home in North Carolina. Thing is, stomach's rumbling. It's been a lot of flying today. Almost almost eight hours of just traveling back and forth to Florida and then a bunch of hours on a boat. Biggest problem, only one meal has been had. So I'm gonna try fishing at my friend's house right now. He's not here, so he'll have no idea that I'm stealing the fish out of his lake. Uh, I just gotta eat something. And if this doesn't work, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Now, you might be thinking, Ryan, if you could only catch one fish in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean with the help of a fishing expert, surely you have a promising plan to catch fish in your friend's backyard. Nope. Doesn't matter though, because- We got dinner! Come on, hold on, hold on. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Okay, that's dinner. That is food. This is, this is a bass. This is a fish that people eat all the time, which means finally we have dinner. I had lunch, need some dinner. Boom! This isn't all of it, but I got a little bit of it cooked right here. Let's try it out. Huh. Rise and shine, Alpha. Win the morning, win the day. Yeah. Attack the day before it attacks you. Okay, so it is 6.15 in the morning and I'm dying. I'm never awake this early. So here's how this video is going to work. About two weeks ago, I got really, really sick. I'm talking like bedridden inside, could not do anything besides feel bad for myself level of sick, coughing, throwing up, fever of 102 degrees. For like six days, I barely thought I was gonna survive. 
I'm still alive, but I feel like crap. And in that week of being sick, I lost my entire schedule. Stay up late, wake up late. I'm not eating right, not going to the gym anymore. And while I was sick, I spent hours and hours and hours scrolling TikTok. And I stumbled upon Alpha Bro Science, daily routines, things that help you become the best Giga Chat, regimens that help you get out there to get games, get money, get good stuff happening in your life again. I worked with one of my friends to create the ultimate Alpha Bro Super Chad Sigma Male morning routine. But the thing is, I don't get to know what my next task is until it's five minutes before the task. The only rule of this video is that I have to do whatever the task says. That's it, I have to do the thing. It is 6.20 in the morning and this is my next task. Great. So I have to go outside and do yoga and meditate for 15 to 20 minutes and it's raining out. It's raining a lot, so I'm gonna go do this horrible thing that I really don't wanna do. It's like 40 degrees out. I'm really trying to relax, but it's super cold out. <laughs> <laughs> this is I'm gonna be honest, I quit a few minutes early on that one, but that sucked. I didn't think about achieving alpha status at all while I was out there. All I thought about was coming inside and getting warm. I'm warm up for a few minutes, and then at some point soon, my next task should come in. I don't know, it does make me feel mentally stronger. Okay. So my next task is I have to make the ultimate bro breakfast, but I looked in the fridge and I have no groceries, so we gotta run to the grocery store, and now I'm really behind schedule. Okay, I'm back from the store. Problem is I am super behind schedule now, which is just a bad start because I'm going to have other tasks rolling in all day. My power breakfast has to be 12 egg whites, a steak and a protein shake and no carbs. We're grilling up a steak, it's gonna go over here. And I bought a bunch of eggs. 12 eggs is insane. Is it? I'm, I'm actually curious, is it possible to eat 12 eggs? It's possible. Yeah. Okay, do it. You wanna do it right now? Yeah. I don't want to embarrass you. <laughs> okay. So while the pan's heating up, uh, it's time to crack into these eggies right here. Stove, do you want to have an egg with me? I'm not an apple bro. Ryan here is a... An omega bro. <laughs> you first. Just throw it back. Just open the gullet. <laughs> small, small, small. Throw it back. Ew. You're making me gag. No. <laughs> Spit it out. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I'm just gonna cook mine. <laughs> you just hit me with the pan. <laughs> all right, all right, we're gonna cooking. Are you serious? <laughs> Stove is on steak duty. I'm on egg duty. The problem is I have no idea how to separate egg whites from the egg yellows, so I'm just gonna cook 12 eggs. There's so many eggs. This is a disgusting amount of eggs. So I think we're gonna go for scrambled. All right, now I need a fork. I think I might have put too many eggs in here. Okay, I am not usually a breakfast eater. This is a steak and 12 eggs. I normally have nothing to eat in the mornings. So this is gonna be a lot. Um, I also hate eggs. So I'm gonna do my best. I got my protein shake. Here we go. <laughs> I don't wanna do this. I hate eggs. Eating this much food sucks. Okay, that legitimately took me like an hour and 10 minutes to eat that much food. And I feel horrible. And I still have to drink this whole thing. And now I'm really behind. <laughs> I'm so behind schedule. I got my other notification of what I need to do next. And I have to go to the gym as soon as I'm done with this. I don't want to go. All right, I'm gonna drink this. Then we're gonna go to the gym. Ow. Okay. It's either a burp or I'm gonna throw up. I can't tell. This is my temple. It's kind of the really crappy gym we have here, but I have to work out, so. Do I look strong or do I look weak? How do I look? So weak. Honestly, I'm feeling pretty good after the workout. I, I'm a lot more energized and I feel good about myself. I don't exercise nearly enough. And you know, to each their own. For some people, they live and they die by the gym. For me, I like to work out a few days a week when I'm feeling up to it. I think I'm gonna give credit where credit is due. Maybe this daily routine has it right that exercising is probably pretty good for you. You know, my body exhausted, my brain is finally, you know, on and moving for the day. 
all that food this morning definitely helped, but I've had a pretty rumbly tummy all morning and I'm kind of worried that it's hurting a little bit. My next task is to have a cool coffee bro down with the brethren. But instead of coffee, I bought everybody smoothies. Yeah! yeah! Mm. It's so good. <laughs> the next thing that I have to do to be a true Alpha Chef Super Pro is take care of my looks. So I'm gonna do something that's called mewing the next 60 minutes. Do you know, do you know what mewing is? Oh yeah. How do you do it? It's kind of hard. You kind of have to like suck your tongue back into your, the roof of your mouth. Like that? That's me. <laughs> really? I don't know. I had to watch a tutorial about this, but apparently you can make your jawline sharper, right? Yeah. By doing something weird with your tongue. It's gonna be about 60 minutes of this, guys, so stay tuned. Yeah, this is so stupid. I can't believe we'll do this. And the other thing you can do is ice your face. Oh god, it's cold. That's really cold. I'm dripping everywhere. Oh, it's starting to burn. Let me see your red face. Is it is my jawline sharper? Oh my god. Ah, ah, that's so sharp. Your finger's so good. Ah! <laughs> Probably pretty boring to watch, so I'll see you in an hour. All right, it's been about 45 minutes. If you look at my face before I started mewing and icing my face, this is what I looked like, and this is what I look like now. Can't you see it? It's a complete waste of time. So I was supposed to have chicken, rice, all that good healthy stuff for lunch, but I forgot to bring all of it today and I have to eat because again, I'm still pretty behind schedule. So I'm just gonna have a lot of these. So I'm just gonna have a few of these protein shakes. Let's go to the over there. A lot of protein. God, yeah. Gotta crack these bad boys. There's only one way to drink protein. Get some chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> this one tastes way better. I can't get it shot so fast out my throat. Am I manly yet? <laughs> I feel like I'm doing something wrong. I have to drink 12 more. So it turns out that drinking all your calories and not eating real food is a pretty bad idea. But as you can probably tell, it's getting a little bit later. It's time for me to move on to what is supposed to be my second workout of the day, which is just tragic. Who does this? Nobody lives their life like this. So I came all the way to a gym, but I'm not gonna film inside because that makes me feel super weird and I don't wanna like film strangers. So I'll see you after. Just finished the gym, took me another hour. I am exhausted and honestly, I don't think I like doing this challenge at all. I don't like waking up early. I don't like working out multiple times a day. I don't like eating just eggs and steak and chicken and more eggs and protein shakes. Luckily, there's only a few more hours in the day. I kind of feel like I failed, but I'm gonna try to get the last few tasks done. All right, so yesterday was a super busy day and I forgot to record my nighttime routine because by the time I got home, I was exhausted and I passed out and I slept basically all day today. Honestly, the main thing that I I learned from doing this routine is that the most important thing in life is kind of figuring out what works best for you. Take little steps towards being healthier and more productive and don't just do it all at once because that's not sustainable. I'm gonna try waking up earlier every day. I'm gonna go to the gym a few times a week, but you probably won't be seeing me as a true alpha chad super manly bro because that's, that's just not me. It doesn't work out for me. If you have any other fitness or productivity tips that you recommend that are good for you or good for me, let me know down below. I'd love to check them out. I'll see you next time. Peace.